Alrighty guys, as you can see this morning from the radar, we're in some heavy, heavy rain. Um, excellent time to fish. If you got the right gear and the right boat, we're going to be out in the Sea Ark boat this morning with our frog talk gear. Uh, we're going to try to fish hard between these storms. It looks like it's going to be some heavy, heavy rainstorms this morning. They're predicting one to two inches of rain. But as I said, it is an excellent time to fish. So let's get out here on the water, see if we can do something. Guys, right here. Pretty steady rain this morning. Uh, expected heavy, heavy rain today. We got four down there right now. We got uh, a line casting out the back. Uh, big bait we're using this morning. We're using big chunks of skipjack herring. So I don't know if you guys can see the bait or not. But we're using skipjack herring this morning. And we just got chunks of bait there. apps that I use to check the weather before I come out. I'm going to give you guys the links to these apps. The first one I always use is Weather Underground. As you can see, here's the link to it. And what the icon looks like. You can get 10-day forecast, barometric pressure, hourly forecast, wind, uh, rain percentage. It's a really a great app, weatherunderground.com. Another one I use is on my phone. Is I use Yahoo Weather. It does an hourly app, and here's the link to the Yahoo Weather. And what the icon looks I also use uh, check my major and minor fishing times. I'll give you the after that as well in the icon. The main thing is be safe while you're out on the water. Let people know where you're fishing. And have good rain gear. You've got to have. 
have good rain gear to stay out here. This, this wet level. We're just got three down lines down. We're using our Minn Kota Toro patrolling motor. We're just spot locked. We've got three down lines down. We've got one casted out. Wind's picking up a little bit now. We just had a real good sail come through, dump quite a bit of rain on top of us. pictures of some really nice fish that we've caught over the last two or three days. We've got some really nice flatheads, some really nice stripers. All these have been caught in the last week. Check out all these pictures. There's a bite on that one back there while I'm talking. Watch him bow over. Look at him bow over back there. Thank you. 
Stripers in here everywhere this morning. We've caught three really nice, three or four stripers. I don't remember how many we caught. We caught a pile of blues. Little cat right here. 
flip it over on down imaging, you can see the fish in here. We just waiting on that one big flathead or big blue this morning. We're getting ready to pull up here and move. Get a little bite on that rod right there. This is what it looks like on the fish finder. There's the fish after the bait right there on the fish finder. Looks like he's left it alone. Not only can you visually see he's not biting, you can look on the fish finder and see, here was the fish, he's hit the bait right in here. Then he followed the bait for a little bit and then he left it alone. As you can see, he's left the bait alone now. Okay guys, we've moved down there to some deeper water. Uh, marking a few fish down here. I'm trying to catch a big flathead, big flathead or big blue. The wind's picked up a little bit, as you can see, it's quit raining. The bite was on fire this morning during the rain. Generally speaking, when they're biting heavy during the rain, as soon as it quits raining, the fish are quit biting. But we're going to sit here for a little bit. Maybe we'll pick up a big fish. If not, then we'll get out here and go home. We've had a great morning. We didn't let the thunderstorms or the heavy rain keep us from fishing, as you can see from the videos. We caught a lot of nice fish this morning. So we're going to give it here a little bit. So we'll get, we'll get a big fish Stream right here. Got to get him hooked, though. There you go. He's taking it on over now. He's getting serious now. I'm going to go over here and reel down this big old fish. Right here. Yeah. Yeah, I can't get out rod holder. Alrighty guys, big old flathead right here. Let's see if I can't move the camera around just a little bit. Alright, he ain't a monster but he's a nice fish.
big old blue swallow that hook. I don't know how the heck it swallowed that circle hook, but it did. Big old flat blue. Gonna get him up here. Oh yeah. Look right here, folks. Big old blue. Catfish spawn, I'm telling you. I got a video coming out uh, this weekend. The catfish spawn is the best time to catch these big old fish. Alrighty, guys, we're getting ready to wrap it up. The bite has slowed down a little bit, but we caught some really nice fish this morning. As you notice, most of the nicer fish and the good bite was when the rain was pouring. This rain's blowed out of here now, and it's, the wind's picked up pretty good. I would say the barometric pressure's probably rising a little bit, and they've just quit biting. But hope you enjoyed the video. Don't let bad weather keep you from getting on the water, but be safe. Like, comment on our video, and give us a subscription. If you got any questions, leave it in the comment section or shoot me an email at TennesseeRiverMonsters at Yahoo.com. Thanks, guys.